Flexible video screens, about as thick as a sheet of paper, are in the works at a Mercer County company. Ewing Township-based Universal Display Corporation is developing the technology in partnership with electronics manufacturers and the military. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. While some companies develop flexible displays that could serve as electronic paper or electronic books, Universal Display is heading in a different direction. We're really working on high information content, video rate, full color, uh, active matrix displays. Doing that on a thin, bendable foil instead of a rigid substrate like glass presents serious challenges, according to R&D manager Ray Ma, from difficulties aligning tiny components to the need to use relatively low temperature manufacturing processes. But he says the company's core technology for so-called organic light-emitting diodes makes it not only doable, but potentially practical at a low cost. You can just use thin film deposition, just layer of thin layer of material stacked together, and you get light. So it's much easier to make into a flexible displays. At this point, Universal Display uses relatively expensive processes to make prototypes of flexible displays. In the long run, they might be mass-produced by a process similar to printing. For some early uses, Ma says, cost might not be the most important factor. This is a very thin display. You can drop it on the floor, it won't break. Right? It's very lightweight. For those kind of property, people will pay uh, money for the application. One good example is a military application. And also the cell phone industry is really innovative. They constantly looking for stuff to, to differentiate them from the other competitors. The company's current partners in this work include the Fort Monmouth-based Communications, Electronics, Research, Development, and Engineering Center and display manufacturer LG. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Ewing.